Hello guys, welcome back. This is Vivek and this is 11 tutorial of this series. So we were talking about few commands in previous lessons and I told you that in this tutorial we'll be talking about few commands like more and less, head and tail. So these commands are pretty useful when you are actually working hands-on on Linux environment. So when you have some text editor which is GUI based like text edit or word, it will definitely show up all the uh, content of a text file. But what if you are working on a command line interface and the text file is very big? Let's take example. So one of, in one of the lectures on one of the tutorials, I told you that cat is a command using which you can view the content of the file. So let's take example of syslog1. Whoops, it was so big that it just passed. We, we, we wanted to see what exactly it had. Uh, we have to scroll manually using mouse, but you might not be able to see what happened in the first few lines. So to solve this problem, someone created a program or a utility called more. We'll type more and then syslog.1. So it showed the first page and it stopped. So <clears throat> once you're done with the few lines of the codes, you can just hit spacebar, it goes to next page. If you hit enter, it will just go to the next line. So it's pretty useful when you are trying to view the content of the file which is very huge and it won't fit your screen and you want to come out of this just hit ctrl z and you will be out of the screen now there is another command called less so what's the difference between more and less so the major limitation with more command was that you cannot go back so once you are in second page or third page and you wanted to go to previous page, it was not possible. So because of these limitations, someone wrote a new program with name less and that solved this problem. So essentially, if you see, it does the same thing. Syslog.1 and we are in few, after a few pages later, you want to go up with the cursor moving keys, we can go up. So there are few other features also in less and the difference is so huge in this even in the source code like more source code last time I checked it was 2000 lines and less is around was around 27,000 lines of code. So but uh, more or less if you are working on a Linux environment uh, pretty much less is the command or more is the command which will solve your problem. Let's come out of this. We'll go to our home directory. Now let's see what head and tail commands are. <clears throat> so I've created a test file called file.txt. The content of the file is very simple. It just has 21 lines with number incremented with each line. So what head does, you, when you type head and file.txt, it will show you the first 10 lines of this file. When you type tail and head, uh, sorry, file.txt, it will show you the last 10 lines of this file. So by default, it takes 10 as a number of lines for input. But what if you want to see a particular number of lines? Suppose you want to see only first five lines. So you can type head minus five and then five. It showed the first five lines. What if you want to see last five lines? Then we'll type tail minus five and then file.txt. It showed me the last five lines, 17 to 21. All right. Now, see one example here. We have number one to 10 and number 12 to 21. What if someone wanted to see the 11th line? So what we can do, <coughs> we will just uh, type tail minus 11 because you want last 11 lines from which file file.txt okay and we showed in one of the earlier tutorials that you can make use of pipe that you can feed this output to another program or another command so we will feed this output of this command so let's see what the output is it shows 11 to 21 now we want to see 11th line so we will type the same thing and we will 
to head minus one. Here we go. We got we got the middle line that is eleventh line out out of all the twenty one lines of um, in, in present in this file. So you can mix head and tail as per required or as per your necessity, and you can play around with that. Hope you learned something good in this tutorial. In next tutorial, I'll come up with some another useful commands which will help you in learning Linux in a better way. Thanks for watching, guys.